hunt for the missing gut bucket. Here we go. I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use that. Hi, girls. So today is our last culling day for the year. This is um, probably our fifth batch for the year, and we've actually been selling them to people that we know, friends and family. Um, and today should be our lightest load of the whole season. So usually we do between like 26 and 30 birds per session, just my husband and I. Today, we only have like 23 or 24, which a couple birds makes a difference as far as time goes. So, and space reasons, we actually don't have a ton of space, so this should be good. So, they have not eaten or drank anything this morning to keep their systems nice and clean. And uh, hopefully this should be simple. Uh, these are Cornish cross uh, chickens. I don't see any roosters in this batch. I think they're all hens. Um, this kitty always makes it into our videos somehow. This is Kevin. Kevin the kitty. He's so stinking cute. <laughs> all right, well, we're gonna just get to it and you can watch kind of vlog style if you have the desire. Oh, thank you guys, or girls. We have been greatly appreciative of your service here. Today, it's freezer camp. Okie dokie. Oh, I know. I know. Oh my gosh, you are so big. Okay, I don't know if you're sitting in the cone. detour because we have eagles flying overhead right now and we want to protect our chickens so there's this cool little tip if you have fencing around your um, like gardens or chicken coops um, you can take CDs like this just old CDs or whatever and zip tie them face up so that it causes a reflection um, and the eagles have a harder time um, coming down and seeing actually what they're gonna swoop in on. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some of those up real quick. Okay, so you see here, we have it pointing upward. There's two zip ties attached to each other to make a longer zip tie. And then I just have it propped up and I use the post to kind of stabilize it upward, otherwise it's going to want to turn on you. Um, but when you kind of stabilize it, it's pretty firm. Upright, it'll create that reflection and hopefully help deter uh, above predators like eagles and hawks from coming down and swooping on a chicken or a cat or anything like that. Oh gosh. Kenny, Ken, why are you crying? Why are you crying? What? Why are you in the garden? Tell that guy to go hide.
How many do we have left here? One, two, three, four, five. Five left. We are getting close. It is windy. Look at that one waddling around. <laughs> I'm just gonna watch. <laughs> Cover their eyes. And their ears. And their ears. Yeah. And then they chill out. Okay. Right. Woo-wee! It is so cold out here. My hands are frozen. I have five birds left to clean. My husband is done. And we are so excited to be done for the season. So it is, yeah, it is uh, end of September here in Minnesota. And I'm cold. And we don't have this indoor setup. So Outdoor is the ticket for here for now and we're done for the season. So let's clean the last five birds and be done with it. Yay! go in there <laughs> all right we have an empty tractor we're ready for next season so we're gonna clean up and call it good for the day see this guy where'd you just dump that oh in the compost yeah. huh. just recording you why cuz I love you okay so that wraps up our day of chicken calling our last calling of the season. Um, it is 2022, fall of 2022. And so next year, uh, if this is your thing, if animal harvesting and raising is your thing, we will definitely be adding to our repertoire in the next couple years. So we'll be adding most likely turkeys, um, definitely more chickens. Um, we've definitely talked about doing um, sheep or lamb for meat. And um, yeah, that might be on the docket. So. If that's kind of your jam, definitely subscribe with the bell so you know in the spring when I do those kind of videos again, um, when, you'll know when we post. So for the winter, we'll be doing a lot of baking and canning and all that good winter stuff as well as maybe some vlog style videos. You can see kind of what it's like to uh, do a homestead in the winter in a very cold, cold zone in northern Minnesota. So. Uh, stick around. I look forward to giving you more hopefully entertaining content. Thank you for being here and I'll see you in the next one.